Admiral, we have the prisoners. They're safely aboard. Excellent. How many in total? About a hundred. About a hundred? Lieutenant, you are an officer in the Terran Empire. You are trained to know precise details and react to them accordingly. If you do not know the exact number, you are not prepared to come to me with your report. <laughs> For forgive me, Admiral. One moment. 105 Red Bulls, Admiral. 75 males, 30 females. Every one of them has been disarmed, searched, and put in the mass cell on Deck 30, Dungeon Section A. Excellent. Should we break orbit? Not just yet. I want to talk to these rebel scum. For a group of colonists, they managed to hold off the Imperial Army for a surprisingly long time. Yes, Admiral. A few of the colonists have already confessed, hoping for leniency. They said their leader organized the plan. Their tactics were unconventional, but effective. I see. And what do we know about this leader? I have their Imperial profile pulled up here. Perhaps you'd like a look for yourself. Very well. Nothing overtly remarkable here. But there are things that one can't tell from a report. There's no picture in this report. Why? They refuse to have one taken for their Imperial ID. It seems the leader has somehow managed to avoid it for years. One of the perks of growing up in a small colony, no doubt. But that just means this one was a born troublemaker. They've probably been brewing up insurrection for years. I want to talk to them. Tell security to meet me in detention section A. Yes, Admiral. Imperial colonist, or should I say, former Imperial colonist. You see, by engaging in open rebellion, you have forfeited your rights and citizenship as Imperial citizens. That means you are no longer entitled to due process, a trial by jury, or even the presumption of innocence. You are hereby guilty of military insurrection and sentenced to... You. Yes, you. In the middle, come forward. Your name, Rebel? That's what I thought. You have the look of a leader. Resolved and somewhat cocky. I hope you're aware of the gravity of what you've done. Because of your foolish leadership, these people are about to be tossed out the nearest airlock. My, my, my. What a look. Such burning hatred. But why glare at me, Rebel? I didn't take an arsenal of weapons and lead these people against the military might of the Terran Empire. I mean, what did you honestly expect? I'll tell you what. I will spare these people, all of them, and let them return to their lives on one condition. I need a, let's call it a, a slave? Goodness, no. A servant is a much better word. A servant who works for free can never quit and always has to do what I say. That's a quaint argument, Rebel. But slavery is only illegal for Imperial citizens. You are a Rebel, and a Rebel has no rights. So I'm offering you a choice, and a very, very generous one at that. One I only make because I find you somewhat fascinating, and I'm not a woman who's easily fascinated. You can die with them, or you can live for them. That's a good little rebel. I knew you were smart. Lieutenant! Sir! Scour the colony for every last weapon they possess. Once you're satisfied, these colonists are to be allowed back to their homes. It appears they were simply led astray, but now the situation has been remedied. Yes, Admiral. And take this one to my quarters. And get him something more imperial to wear. Greetings, my rebel. How are you? I see my officers have given you proper clothes. 
but you aren't wearing them. Is this really going to turn into a game of wills? I can assure you, Rebel, I will win. <laughs> you will never submit? <sighs> My attractive Rebel, you already have. I own you. You sold yourself to me to buy the lives of your friends. Friends who are, at this very moment, hugging their families, happy to be home, and thanking you for your selfless act of heroism. If you wish a refund of our transaction, I can surely arrange it. I can live with the blood of insurrectionist rebels. Can you? No, 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 my proud rebel. Chin up. There's no reason to be sad. I give you my word as an officer. Nothing will happen to you that you don't consent to. But I do have to insist that certain proprieties are maintained. One of them is that you present yourself in suitable attire. I can't have my... Let's call you my attendant. I can't have my attendant marching around the Imperial flagship dressed in militant rebel gear. Now please, go change. There, much better. You look even more dashing. Yes, you are quite a prize, indeed. It is mine. Would you care to partake? I've poured us some. Please, I insist. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. <sighs> Your collar is crooked. Allow me. Hmm. You look even better up close. Don't look so nervous. I told you, nothing would ever happen to you that you didn't consent to. That doesn't mean I can't appreciate the way you look, even if you never submit in that way. Why am I doing this? That's an interesting question. Because believe it or not, I didn't want to have to have those colonists executed. I'm a soldier, not a monster. But the sad reality is, I serve something greater than myself. And the stability of the empire demands that sometimes I do bad things in order to protect those who don't have the nerve to protect themselves. I'm sure you've realized, considering how quickly your troops turned on you, that most people are spineless cowards. They'll do what they're told as long as they're told that in doing so, they will remain safe. But not you. Not us. No, for people like us being safe isn't enough. We need something more. The mill needs spice. Better to starve than endure a lifetime of bland food, wouldn't you agree? That's why you're here, my rebellious friend. I'm afraid the salt has recently lost its savor, and I'm hoping you can add a little spice. I'm sure you understand that I can't allow you to return to your colony. But if you truly do find your current situation disagreeable, I can arrange for you to be transported to one of the ore moons. Those places are virtually lawless. You could live however you wanted. Or you could stay. You have a sharp mind, a brave heart, and a strong will. I'm not interested in a meek servant. But I could use a strong ally. And perhaps together we could find our spice. Do you find me attractive? I find you quite lovely. Quite lovely indeed. But what do you want, brave one? I could lay the galaxy at your feet. I could lay myself at your feet. Would that please you? But only if you submit to me. <laughs> 
Imagine it, the two of us vying for dominance in and out of the bedroom. Look me in the eye and tell me that doesn't appeal to you. Mm. Mm. Yes. I think this will be quite a delicious arrangement.